when am I getting my babe back? You went from slim thick to slim. When boyfriends or husbands want you to stop losing weight, you're going to want to stick to the end of this video on this one. What up, y'all? It's your girl, Jazz, Men, Nicole, and welcome to Weight With Jazz, a safe space for the obese, the overweight, those who wanna lose weight, and myself to share our weight journeys, and a little bit of my life, too. <clears throat> Quick recap. I used to be 284 pounds. I lost 115 pounds 12 years ago. Managed to keep most of it off. However, I started to see a gradual weight surplus it was uh it, it, it was it was peaking up there um so i decided to embrace um pursuing my 40 pound final 40 pound weight loss with gop1 medication uh the zetbound brand and currently i am on the tourette uh compound i'm on a 7.55 terzepatai compound currently at a split dose so technically, I'm on 3.7 milligram of that 7.5 milligram of terzepatide compound. All right, so topic of this video is when your boyfriend and or husband wants you to stop losing weight. Okay. Now this question is probed from a conversation that I had with my man, A. So if you hear me referencing A, A is my man, okay? Now, by no means um, am I coming for my man in any way, and I do not want y'all to either in the comments, okay? But I do think that this is just an eye-opening, um, situation and or conversation that can be in consideration when factoring um, what is important to you versus important to him or your partner okay especially in regard to weight so now, let, let's just get this straight. It's, it's important to please and accommodate your man, okay? Please and accommodate his needs and attraction. Absolutely. But not to a point in which you're unhappy with yourself, okay? Your man should want you to be happy in your skin and in your health whatever that may look like. So, getting right to it, the comment, well, I'm not gonna say comment, I'm gonna say question. The question my man formed and presented to me was, when am I getting my babe back? You went from slim thick to slim. Now, all I can say is here we go. It's, there is always room for teaching moments. And we're going to get into my response, honey. Because I'm not going to lie, it did low key hurt my feelings. Because in my mind, I'm thinking, like, you have no idea the levels I've been through in this weight journey or in general in regard to my weight my entire life okay so let's all right x that i just need to throw that in okay so my response i you, and this this is this is gonna get deep y'all just be prepared this is gonna get deep i went into how being in an appropriate weight for my height is important to me and my health okay 
I went into how I am no longer in the obese or over uh, overweight category. I am finally at the standard weight to me, according to my BMI. And I know there's controversy in regard to that, but I do think personally that there is scientific validity to the BMI, okay? Despite the controversy, it's, it's truth to it. And I do use it as a guide in reference to height and weight, you know? And that's just, that's how I view it for me. And for me, I want to be in a healthy BMI. Y'all take that for what you want. I hope you don't take offense for, uh, to it because a lot of people discredit the BMI, but I do hold credit to the BMI. So I explained this, that I'm finally out of the category, you know, I was in the obese category, in the overweight category, and now I'm out of the overweight category. That's a major accomplishment for me, especially being as though I've been obese and overweight most of my life. I've never been at a standard weight. So I had to break down that reality to him so he could gain an understanding. Also got a little more deep into the racial demographic of, of my community and how it perceives weight and physical image of black women. So, you know, how the black community wants their women overweight or obese just for the thick aesthetic. That thick aesthetic, you could be almost, you know, morbidly obese or getting there. But if you have enough of your waist snatched to where it shows that you are have a waist, a small waist, or the illusion of a small waist, and Everything else is uh, more of a voluptuous hourglass silhouette. That's, you know, for the most part, what's expected in, in, in my community. You know, and this is how I was perceiving some, you know, that, that question he asked, that statement he asked, even though he loves me as I am and, you know, as I previously was, he still, you know, low key, has, you know, has a desire for more, you know, for more me. But I, I really just had, I had to break all this down to him. How this kind of puts me in a form of feeling judged. Just not necessarily by him, but just in general. Once a woman, and specific, uh, excuse me, specifically a black woman is embracing fitness, being in shape, be, being in shape beyond the overweight hourglass shape, okay? So to me, like how it is viewed is, is weird. You know what I'm saying? It's weird for a black woman to have a teardrop butt. This is, you know, this is stuff I'm saying to him. You know, it's, it's weird to be in shape for your height. And these are the, the judgment connotations that I pick up in my community. Um, why, why can't I have a smaller frame? Why can't I just want to have a smaller frame? Why does something have to be medically wrong with me for me to want to have a smaller frame? Why can't I be deemed normal? Because I want to have weight that's associated to my BMI. I don't want to be overweight. You know, it's, it, it's like, you're judged for not wanting to be overweight. And you're judged for being overweight. It, it, it's like you can't win in a situation. And, and that's how I feel. Like, I don't want to be obese with a BBL silhouette. That's not my image. That's not what I'm going for. And that's what rains very heavily in my community. And it just does. It does, you know... I'm not really here to argue with anyone, persuade anyone. Um, just this is my opinion based on what I've picked up from observations and just in general, in my life. I know what I see, I know what I pick up.
And I hate that, you know, it falls in the line, the, the lane of men, and especially, especially black men, having some of these views and these expectations. And some just are unintentional. Like, I don't think, A, meant any harm. I really don't. I know he loves me, you know. But, you know, that was just a lack of understanding that was coming out of them. You know, just a, a cultural condition that's been in our community for a long time. You know, just you're fine at eye view. We don't look internally. We don't look at science. We don't look at numbers. It's just, if you have that aesthetic, you're attractive enough, that's good for me. Just don't get to the point where you lose the hourgra hourglass look, you know? I mean, you know, needless to say, as, as you hear, the conversation got deep, right? It got deep. But, you know, understanding and caring on A's part was, was there. And I really appreciate that. He listened, he understood. And he wasn't just, you know, claiming to understand and not, he really did, you know? So, I mean, I even made the comment in response to him that, listen, you may have to leave me if you're no longer attracted. I mean, just, you know, just being real, the real person that I am, and that's reality. Sometimes weight loss can cause uh, an attraction to some people. So I didn't know if that was what he was alluding to or what, or what I can expect later or what. So I really wanted to address it right then and there. So I have an idea of where we are, where we're going. And to that response, I tell you what, he was not having it. He was not having the nonsense. He checked me, he definitely checked me real quick. He was like, I love you as you were. I love you as you are now. I'm not leaving you. No. Nope. You know, that was that. But, you know, so pretty much the moral to this topic is sometimes you may have to break it down for your partner to understand. Sometimes you just got to break it down for them to understand, especially when it comes to weight. So, side note, that don't mean I'm not taking <laughs> natural chest and butt enhancement supplements. <laughs> I still want to fill out in certain areas, okay? But we'll get at that in another video. <laughs> I'm going to get at y'all the next video, boo. Be real. <laughs>